high class. Um, this chapter, chapter one, uh, this video is basically um, a snapshot of what you will be reading in chapter one, Introduction to Business Processes. This is uh, chapter one from your textbook, the Mughal and War textbook that's prescribed for this um, course. Now, since this is the first week, you will be um, doing a lot of reading. And uh, this chapter is about business processes. So the, the whole idea of having an ERP system such as SAP or enterprise resource planning system such as SAP is to uh, facilitate business processes or business functions. So a company can have uh, different business processes or different business functions such as human resource, uh, sales, marketing, accounting and finance, inventory management. Uh, this chapter will talk about the, the core business processes and um, the idea is to give you an understanding of the, the, the core business processes. So let's begin. The learning objectives describe the functional organizational structure, uh, talk about the key business process, what are the integration points, understand cross-functional processes, um, and so the most common organizational structure that we talk about is the functions of the department. So it's, like I said, uh, human resources is a function or a department by itself. Marketing and sales is a department or a function by itself. Finance and accounting is a department or function by itself. Um, so that if, when you look at a functional structure of a typical organization, there is uh, purchasing, there is production, there is inventory management or warehouse, there's sales and marketing, there's R&D, uh, there is finance and accounting, human resource management, and um, so, and a lot of these business functions overlap. One of the things that I just wanted to give you a heads up on is the videos that you will be watching throughout the course of the semester. Let's, I will only focus on the slides that are most important, that have the most important concepts. Uh, so, if there's a chapter that has 50 slides and you see me skipping a few slides here and there uh, it's not it's not that I don't want you to read that uh, those slides or that por portion of the chapter from the textbook but it's just that just to keep um, the video within a um, reasonable duration I'm skipping those slides At the same time I'll be focusing on the slides that are most important that are the key concepts that you must and you should understand so what is an enterprise system? Um, obviously, when we're looking at these business processes, uh, it is hard to integrate these business processes. It's hard to synchronize these business processes. That is, let's say, for example, that there is a sales and marketing team makes a sales transaction, and that, that needs to be updated. Uh, the inventory needs to be updated after the sales has been uh, conducted. So what? how does inventory um, know that a sales has been conducted? what is the um, how much has been sold what products have been sold so obviously sales has to relate all this information to the inventory management system that has to be done seamlessly real time so one of the ways in which that can be done is to have a ERP system or an enterprise resource planning system that is a single IT system that integrates all these business processes business functions within an organization or an enterprise and allows these different business functions to communicate seamlessly on a real-time basis. Business processes, obviously, the definition is the key tasks and activities within a company. So key processes include procurement, that is, you're procuring materials. So let's say that you are, you are Walmart and you need to procure the products that you're going to sell on, at your retail store. So you need to go through a procurement process. Fulfillment is essentially you're fulfilling the orders of your customers. Some people call it sales. Some people call it fulfill, fulfillment process production. Obviously, um, if you are into uh, a company that is into manufacturing, uh, that produces uh, materials from scratch, um, you need to have a production uh, process in place. Okay. 
the generic business process so a business process needs to must have steps okay so a sales is triggered as it says here it, it needs a trigger so what triggers a sale a customer requirement let's say for Walmart a customer walks in uh, takes a um, you know gal buys a takes a one gal a mil gallon of milk bottle from the shelf goes to the point of sales and checks out so that is trigger sales whereas for something like an online website uh, a customer checks out that triggers the sale sales process so every business process there's a trigger and obviously like at the end there is an outcome and in between the trigger and the outcome there are some intermediate steps key business processes um, within a company material planning so you need to plan your materials your inventory management essentially it's a part of your material planning um, you need to be procuring materials or you need to be procuring products so you need to be buying production you need to be if you're into production if you're into manufacturing or making fulfillment is selling then there is a life cycle a data management there's customer service there's financial accounting and management accounting uh, there is a separate chapter on introduction to finance that in in the ch textbook which is essentially chapter three that talks about both of these financial accounting and management accounting then there's human resource management or human capital management and there is project management or project systems management so they are these key business processes and you will be uh, within the duration of this course um, we will be dealing with each of the process essentially we will cover material or inventory management we'll cover procurement we'll cover production we'll cover pro fulfillment we'll cover financial accounting and management accounting and project systems uh, what we will not cover is life cycle data man management human capital management uh, customer service or asset management um, for those who are curious uh, there is a a separate uh, course in human capital management so for those who are interested please feel free to take the course so the procurement process that is this uh, the process of buying products or raw materials uh, begins by is triggered by creating a purchase requisition so let's say for example a simple thing is inventory you're you're looking at your inventory and for a specific product there's the inventory is below a certain level so you have a system in which um, the inventory management system sends you a message um, saying that this product has reached a level where you need to reorder so that's a reorder point so you will create a purchase requisition then you will convert the purchase requisition to a purchase order and that purchase order will be sent to um, the um, purse the vendor or your supplier who you you who supplies you with that material and then once you receive the materials your warehouse will be taking stock of those materials and restocking that in your warehouse of course the accounting will have uh, will be have to be informed saying that those materials that you had ordered have been received and you need to pay your vendor or supplier okay so as we as we looked at uh, a previous slide where we had a trigger and we had an outcome so in between these are the steps this is the typical procurement process the production process again um, it begins with a request for production so you need to uh, you need have an order uh, from a customer and you need to fulfill the order and you need to fulfill that order by making the product some manufacturing product so you will create a request for production and you authorize the production issue the raw materials that you need once the production has been completed um, then your warehouse will receive the finished goods ready to be shipped out to the customer that ordered those goods so that's your production process fulfillment process is fulfilling or selling um, obviously it is triggered by receiving a customer's purchase order that is created to a sales to convert it to a sales order then that sales order referencing that sales order your warehouse prepares the shipment and uh, shipment does the picking and packing sends out the shipment once your customer receives the customer re needs to be sent an invoice for billing and the fulfillment process concludes with receiving the payment from the customer then the inventory and warehouse management process of course uh, it involves uh, many things among the which production because when, when you produce uh, you need to request for materials that may come from your inventory 
may or may not come from your inventory. If it's coming from your inventory, you need to take a stock whether you have it in your inventory. And if it is there, then uh, what has been used from your inventory. Inventory and warehouse management is also um, involved when there's procurement. When you're procuring materials, you're bringing in materials to your warehouse so the inventory or stock is replenished. It is also inventory and warehouse management process also involved during the fulfillment because you know something is going out from your inventory. The asset management process where basically you need to take stock of your assets uh, and um, it's basically the assets could be um, as it could be uh, fixed assets, it could be uh, movable assets, fixed assets such as a building, real estate, um, uh, movable assets such as equipment, tools. So uh, in order for a company to, uh, to do proper maintenance, keep everything up to date, uh, you have to do asset management. However, asset management is not included in this course. You will not be working with asset management SAP module but just, just this is an FYI. Customer service, again, the whole idea to have a customer service management, management system, ERP system in place is to manage your relationship with the customers. Again, uh, you will not be dealing with customer service module in this course. Project management process involves uh, planning, budgeting, and executing a project. Um, this will be week eight. Uh, this will be assigned to you in week eight. Project management uh, systems includes uh, basically any internal project that the company takes up. Uh, the module related to this allow SAP module related to this allows you to understand how to basically uh, go about planning, budgeting, and executing a project that your company has taken up. The GBI is the company that you will be dealing with. So most of the assignments, the SAP hands-on assignment that you will be doing, will be related to the company GBI or Global Bicycle Incorporation. And, and you can read about this GBI more, this link. Uh, like this bullet point says, hands-on exercises will be uh, basically corresponding to the company GBI. This is the GBI's organizational structure. You really don't need to know about this, but this is just, again, an FYI. This concludes uh, chapter one slides. Like I said, again, a uh, couple of things I just wanted to repeat was that during the course of the semester, there will be many video links. Uh, there will be vi many videos, um, and I will be walking you through the chapters, hands-on assignments, and other things, among other things. And sometimes I may uh, skip slides or content here and there. Uh, one of the reasons is to keep uh, the video lens to a reasonable uh, to to a uh, to a reasonable length. Videos to a reasonable length. Second is that uh, although if I'm skipping a slide that or, or content that doesn't mean I don't want you to read that material or read those slides. But I'm just I just want to make sure that while I'm going over the video uh, and the slides with you, I'm focusing on the most important concepts that you should take away from that specific chapter or from that specific uh, subject area. With that said, uh, thank you.